हेलो ब्रोवर दिस इज सुमित कुमार कैसे हैं आप लोग और व्हाट आई एम गोइंग टू डू इन दिस वीडियो दैट आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व सम क्वेश्चंस आस्क्ड इन आईटी एग्जाम एंड व्हाई आई पिक दिस क्वेश्चन इट्स नॉट अबाउट आईटी एग्जाम इट्स आल्सो इंपॉर्टेंट टू अंडरस्टैंड द लिमिट्स हाउ वन शुड सॉल्व सम लिमिट क्वेश्चंस always in IIT jam or net or DFR or all is it gate or NHM it's always important there are certain kind of questions that follow the pattern and that everywhere students will feel very difficult so that's what I have felt that let me do this kind of question to understand more about this kind of questions okay so that's what I'm going to do so this question asked in IIT jam 2017 okay and uh, this question somehow i relate in all other exams as well so let's try to understand the concept involved in this particular questions okay okay so question is here very simple question is let x and be a real sequence what is x and x and is some real sequence okay with this given information x and plus one is equal to x and three power two plus six by seven so this is your x n plus 1 x n to the power q plus 6 by 7 n is greater than or equal to 1 then which of the following is are true if x n equal to 1 by n then x n converges to 1 if x n equal to 1 by 2 then x n converges to 2 if x n equal to 3 by 2 then x n converges to 1 if x n equal to 3 by 2 then x n converges to minus 3 lot of students have made mistake in this part of the question lot of students lot so let's try to understand where you make the mistakes and so when you see this kind of stuff all the students go to lost they lost how much you do that okay so let's try to understand first okay what is the question exactly one how much you approach with these initial conditions how one can say whether x n converts to 1, x n diverts to 1 or not it's very crucial ok let's understand so I always start see solving this problem is not important let's try to understand let's try to understand with our basic knowledge how one should solve this kind of questions ok so I always start how to think how one should approach that's important how one should approach this kind of questions what will be our approach to this kind of questions ok so first let me recall first first basic fact so recall some basic fact what is the basic facts basic fact says if you have a function from R to R and if derivative is positive and agar wo function r to r hai if derivative is positive for all x then f is increasing f is strictly increasing that's it first of all this fact and second if you have a monotone sequence if this is monotone sequence monotone sequence means either increasing or decreasing not both either it should increase or decrease then it must converge if it is bounded if this is monotone sequence then xn converges if and only if it is bounded so these are the two basic facts I want to understand ok ok I hope ok so these are the two basic facts so a monotone sequence so a monotone sequence is convergent if and only if it is bounded so if this is monotone sequence so if this is monotone sequence then it converges if and only if it is bounded ok so these are some small facts you should prove I am only going to use these two facts I am only going to use these two facts, nothing else. Okay? So let's do smart work here. Okay? Let's do. Okay. So here, 
So let me first from this, let us consider this function x cube plus 6 by 7. Look at this. What is the derivative? 3 x square by 7. 3 x square plus 7. So this is always greater than 0. For all x. Either it can be 0 and it is 0 only when x equal to 0, otherwise it is positive. So that implies f is in prison. And what is the proof of it? Mean value. Try to. So f is in prison. Next. So this is the fact. So f is increasing. So this function is increasing. That means what? कि अगर आप हमें ऐसा दोगे, इसका मतलब हो जाएगा कि f x is less than or equal to f of y. So I need to use this fact only. Okay? Here. So now let me do. If there are two initial conditions you have given me, x one equal to half and x one equal to this. So first, अगर x one आपने हमें half दे दिया, if you have given me x one equal to half, okay? What is that? X two. Just calculate one time. One by two the cube plus six by seven. This is this is my claim is greater than x one. How? Look at this. What is this? X2 is 1 by 2 का cube plus 6 by 7. मेरा claim है कि ये half से बड़ा होगा. X1 आपका half है ना? So my claim is it is greater than half. How? See, calculate कीजिए. X1 आपका कितना है? X2 X2 आपका कितना है? So let's see. That is IE if if this is going to be there is. That means this is greater than 7 by 2. If you multiply, cross multiply, it's 7 by 2. And that's true. That's true. Hence, hence x2 is greater than x1. Why I have shown this? So x2 is greater than x1. Now I got it. Now I got it. Therefore, जो आपका फंक्शन था, what was the function? Function was x cube plus six by seven. And you say that x one is less than x two. That implies both this is monotone. F of x one is less than equal to. What is this? X two. And what is this? X three. If you put f x equal to x one, x one cube plus six by seven. And if if you put x two, x two cube plus six by seven, x three. Section is this. So here is so you are getting again if you apply again if you apply again monotone implies f of x2 is less than f of x3 and so on. So what we have proved x1 is less than equal to x2, x2 is less than equal to x3, x3 is less than equal to x4, and so on. So xn is monotone increasing. Now it will converge if and only if it is bounded. Clear? Now let's try to prove. So see how I have done. See, there are many ways to prove. There are many ways, but this is I like so natural, so elegant, so classic that one should understand these kind of steps. Okay, so this is it. Okay, so now let's uh, let let us see xn is bounded or not. So let me see xn is bounded or not. What is xn? So so xn your sequence xn plus one was this xn cube plus 6 by 7 this was started with this of course because you have started you have given the initial condition 1 by 2 and from that using that x2 is my f of x1 and that's how I found get of then x1 and from that I calculated that x3 which is nothing but f of x2 is get of then your in, in fact strictly increasing so right so this is nothing but x2 and x2 is greater than x2. So this was monotonic increasing. Now whether it is bonded or not, my claim is, my claim is, see, each xn, see, x1 is, x1 is less than 1. What about x2? So x2 is nothing but f of your x1, which is less than equal to f of 1. And what is f of 1? If if you put f of 1, it's going to be 1. Okay? So this is 1. Now, so xn plus 1 
So use this induction, this is called induction process. Use and it's, I leave this as a small exercise, please do x and z is equal to 1. It's not even the x cheat, it's not equal to 1, but it's strictly less than 1. But still you can add x and strictly less than 1 implies x and less than equal to 1. Doesn't matter. Okay. So x and is less than equal to 1 for all. So x and is not only increasing and bonded. How? Use this process. X is less than 1, then x is less than 1. Use the induction. Assume it for x and less than 1. Then prove it x and plus 1 less than 1. So using the addition. So this is a monotone sequence. So x and is monotone increasing. X and is monotone increasing and bonded above. Hence it's convergent. And what's the limit? Supreme. So let's find the limit. Okay. So limit is. So take the limit here. The sequence is monotone increasing and bonded above. And it is must, must converge. So let L equal to limiting value to n tends to infinity of x. So take the limit both sides on the functional equation. L is equal to L cube plus 6 by 7. Take the limit both sides. If x n converges to L, x n plus 1 also converges to L. Take the limit both sides, you will get this. And solve this. L cube plus 6 equal to 7L. That implies L cube minus 7L plus 6 equal to 0. See, L equal to 1 is a factor. 1, 1, 1 is equal to 0. So take L minus 1 in common. This L square minus L plus L. So this L square. So you got L cube minus L square plus L square. Get cancel. You are getting minus L. You need minus 7L. So subtract it. Minus 6. That's why you are getting 0. So from here you are getting L equal to 1 and from here what you will get? See 3 into 2, 6. So here you will get, you will get minus 3 and 2. This is good. Okay? Minus B by A. So other words minus B. Yes. So this is the product. So this is your answer. So this is the limit L equal to 1. So Xn is. So Xn is. Recall, xn is less than equal to 1, xn increases, so xn must converge to 1, okay? So xn converges to 1. Similarly, if you give me the, this hypothesis, so for uh, if, so if this converges to 1, that's what we have proved. And the second case, I leave this an exercise, if you give me the initial condition 3 by 2, then you can think that xn is monotonically decreasing and decreases towards 1. Look at this, go through the same assumption, prove that xn is decreasing and it's converging towards 1. Okay, so you should prove this. So second I left as an exercise, if you give me this initial condition, xn will decrease. If you give me this condition, xn will increase and it increases to 1 and according to this, it decreases to 1. Okay, so I hope you got this idea and thanks for watching my videos and please subscribe my YouTube channel and all so that in future you will get all my updates, okay? Thank you for that.